am in the US Virgin Island of St. Croix for the inauguration of a festival known as Caribbean Boys Link Up, featuring some of the biggest names from the region. The headliners include Third World, Beanie Man, Cecile, Spraga Benz, Louis Culture, Baby Sham, Elephant Man, and Shane O. Production of Sean Baptiste of Siga Records, who you might have met back in April when he graced our stage back in Kingston alongside the legendary Charlie Wilson. Sean, sir, good to have you. Good to have Bless you. <laughs> Bless it up. Thank you, sir, for having you're, us. You're in my town. You're in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, yes. I, I told you I'd bring you here. Very first trip. <laughs> very first trip. How are yeah. you liking it so far? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We went out in the town today, and uh, it, was, it was very clean. Yes. Very quiet. Quiet. <laughs> no traffic. <laughs> my my Jamaica in the country. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, yes, yes. my yeah, friend. Man, yeah, man. So what's the music culture like in this? And in this U.S. territory? In the U.S. territory, our culture, remember it's like, our, we're Caribbean people. So the culture is basically the reggae is a big part here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. But also we have Calypso. Yes. Okay, and then also we have soca, yeah. like what Trinidad have calypso and soca. So those are the music culture. But reggae is like one of the biggest one for me personally. Yeah. So R and B and the mainstream music. The R and B and the mainstream music do come true too. You have different listeners of different music. You know, yes. everybody more into their type of music. Whether it's R and B, whether it's soft music. You know, different music. It's, it's like. At the end of the day, we Caribbean people, we just love music. Okay, so yes. but this territory is no different from other Caribbean territories. No, man, only thing different. To consumption. Only thing different party is the season, the rest everything. Of it. Yes. The party, everything. It's just like last time when you came, yes. we was on the boat, we had a boat ride. Mm -hmm. Where the Calypso band, two Calypso band get on the boat and everybody just full the boat and we just party. It's the same thing, no different from a Jamaican reggae party on the boat. You follow me? It was just different type of music and different kind of vibes. Okay, so you, you dubbed this Caribbean Boys Link Up. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Explain that for us. Well, when I, when I get back to what I was doing, I met, you know, Beanie Man is our old friend, Beres is our old friend, and all the artists them that I do shows here, I brought them here before. And different Caribbean islands you go, at the end of the day, the only thing I see different from Caribbean is the season. Yeah. So I said, you know something? I'm gonna name the song that Beanie Man features now, Caribbean Boys. So also, I said, I'm gonna take it a little further. I'm gonna have a clothing line by the name of Caribbean Boys Link Up. So now everything we do, whether with the Jamaica, whether with the Trinidad, Guyana, Curacao, anywhere with it, we're pushing the Caribbean. Because you know, we Caribbean people is very powerful in the United States of America. Yeah. You know, so, you know, so we need to gravitate on something for us. That we could say, Caribbean, Caribbean Boys. Just look at the brand, look at the shirt, look at how we move, Caribbean and we, no matter where you come from. You make it feel as though we are making great progress in unity in the Caribbean, is that so? Yes, we are, we are. Yeah. Yes, because if you look at the music industry, you look at the Africa beat, yeah. you look at the Jamaican beat, look at the Trinidadian beat, we are moving. At the end of the day, music is one of our most powerful things within Caribbean people, because it's a message at the end of the day, and we gravitate after it. Some of it is our everyday life that we live, that we talk about at the end of the day, you know? So, like I said, the Caribbean, it's, it's coming. Yes. Everybody's understanding it. There's no more when you go to America and you're, you're Jamaican. No, no, it's Caribbean. Yo, you from the Caribbean? Yeah, because it's so much different language, and. Apparently, all of we sung a little bit alike, <laughs> you know. So, so therefore, they are gravitating onto the Caribbean. So that's why I came up with the thing, Caribbean boys. At the end of the day, we, we do stuff. All right. So it's a tremendous lineup you have. Two days. Yes, two days. Three days. Yeah, three days. Three days. Sorry, three days, three days of, <laughs> of excitement on the island. Is it's is this the inaugural staging, or was it here before? Well. Um, this is the first time I'm doing it because normally we, I don't know if you guys celebrate it, it's Labor Day here yes. this weekend. They have celebrated in America. So remember, we are part of America. So we have 
American laws or whatever they follow in America. So Labor Day is a big day. Normally we, we're into horse racing, Caribbean people things, you know? So the horse racing track, they demolish it to build a new track over five years now. So after yet, <laughs> we can't see the track. Oh. <laughs> you know, the government thing walk. <laughs> so I decided, you know, the people look forward to having that weekend. Cause people come from St. Thomas, Tatola, San Juan. People come from the States. They, they just come for the weekend just to party and have fun. So I decided I'm going to do a three day event. So I'm going to do the first day. I'm going to do a boat ride. And then, as you know, I've been in Jamaica and I've been making a lot of music with different artists. So I said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my album launch. And then the song that was I always promised to you, yes. that Barry Salmon and Charlie it's Wilson, Wilson. Yes. I'm going to release it tonight. Oh, yes, it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so I said, and the Sunday now, we Caribbean people, we like speedboats, we like the ocean because you know all Caribbean island is surrounded with water. So each Caribbean guy have the, the speedboat. So what I did, I did a, a boat race, which is going to be a $25,000 purse boat race, US dollars. So now we have people come from Puerto Rico. We have them come from um, St. John, St. Thomas, Tartola. Everybody come in to compete to see who have the fastest speedboat within the Caribbean. And it's something we're trying to develop that they could go bigger and bigger and bigger. You know? So from horse to boat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so how has it been going so far? Because it's all No, running man, it's, 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 been, it's been wonderful, you yes. know? And also, we also, if you notice, we also have a Santo Domingo DJ. He lives in, in New York. Yes. So our culture here, we have a lot of um, Hispanic people here, what are Puerto Rican, okay. Santo Domingo, you know, Venezuelan, we have it here. So is we are Caribbean people, because it's a Caribbean mm -hmm. island. It's just a different name. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to cook the soup and make sure every Caribbean music is in it at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> so it's a soup. It's a soup, yeah, man. And if you watch it, his name is DJ Adani. Yes. Yes, he's very, very big. He's, he lives in New York, and once you follow him on mainstream, he's big. So, so we wanted to make sure everybody get a little slice of the cake at the end of the day. Well, Sean, we can't wait for a piece of, for a piece of, it, of the pie of the cake. Yeah. And we're excited about it. We're, yes. We're, this is the very first day that we're gonna we're here. This is a big full day here, the yes. first. And tonight is a kickoff. Kick the off. Festival, and we're looking forward to that. Yes. And tomorrow. Third World 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 again, is headlining. Yes. Tote Roll is headlining, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, and we also have a Caribbean band by the name of um, Red Hat Flames. Yes. They're going to be performing too. It's a Calypso band, so you're going to get a little bit of that music too. So, so you can tomorrow move. is Big Band Day. Yeah, tonight. Big Band Day. And, and tonight, yes. I bring your whole Jamaican family. Okay. We have Baby Sham, mm -hmm. we have Spraga Benz, we have Cecile. We have Elephant Man, we have Louis Culture, who is I forgot? Beanie Man. Beanie Man, <laughs> live from Kingston, yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. And also, we have one of the baddest reggae bands in the world, Rough Cut. Oh, yeah. So you know that it ain't no it's easy. Rough. It's, it's rough. rough. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, so and Ford. Sean, I can't Swing wait, sir. All right, so all that's left now is to go and see what's happening with the first of the two big nights, three nights. One is already behind us and two to go tonight dance hall jamaican style and tomorrow big bands third world and red hat flames and red hat flames <laughs>the venue where all the events of the festival will be unfolding already the music is burning after the break we take you on the inside <laughs> 